For as long as this channel existed, I've been wanting to do a UFO related video because the topic of life outside our planet is something highly intriguing. But because the topic of UFOs and aliens is such a widespread phenomenon, the amount of fake and satirical sightings has greatly increased over the years. Until a few days ago, when every news article has practically boomed with the same topic about the Pentagon declassifying a series of UFO sightings captured by US Navy pilots. At the beginning of the year, a few media outlets were reporting that the Navy are sitting on a handful of videos portraying unidentified objects hovering around the sky. Apparently, the sightings are nothing new to the public, having been leaked sometime during 2017, but recently the Department of Defense has come forward to make an official release of the videos, claiming the following. The Department of Defense has authorized the release of three unclassified Navy videos, one taken in November 2004 and the other two in January 2015, which have been circulating in public domain after unauthorized releases in 2007 and 2017. The US Navy previously acknowledged that these videos circulating in the public domain were indeed Navy videos. After a thorough review, the department has determined that the authorized release of these unclassified videos does not reveal any sensitive capabilities or systems and does not impinge on any subsequent investigations of military airspace incursions by unidentified aerial phenomena. The Department of Defense is releasing the videos in order to clear up any misconceptions by the public on whether or not the footage that has been circulating was real or whether or not there is more to the videos. The aerial phenomena observed in the videos remain categorized as unidentified. The released videos can be found at the Naval Air Systems Command reading room. So we head on to the link provided and it leads us to a document library of some sort containing two pages of documents and three videos from which one of, <laughs> one of one of them's titled Go Fast. I mean, someone working for the government has approved the release of a video called Go Fast. Fucking Go Fast, dude. I just... <laughs> but yeah, let, let's see what they have to say. All right, back to spooky time. So I'm gonna play the videos first and then see what we can make of them. Of them. Look on the ASA. My gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude. That's not an LNS, though, is it? It's not. That is an LNS, dude. Well, if there's like another thing, it's rotating.
As you could see, the videos depict what looks like a series of oval-shaped objects seen from a great distance. The videos were supposedly captured by an advanced targeting infrared pod, which contains the most advanced sensors and powerful tracking systems on the market. But as with almost every other UFO sighting I've seen so far, the video quality is far from good and it's almost impossible to figure out what exactly we're looking at. And as you may have already guessed, whoever released the videos didn't really come forward to explain what we're looking at. The only statement we got was that the videos were made public in order to quote unquote clear up any misconceptions on whether or not the videos were real. But this would ultimately lead to even more suspicions regarding the footage and also begs the question as to why exactly did they do it and why they would choose to do it during such a time. As such, the only thing we can really do is examine the footage in hopes of coming to a rational conclusion, but even that is a stretch for obvious reasons. Let's take this clip for example. In the bottom right corner, the altitude of the aircraft is displayed, which is 25,000 feet in this case. And from the angle it was recorded, it would appear as though the object is on the same level as the Navy aircraft, not above nor below. Now, this would be somewhat helpful if the Navy aircraft was flying at a higher altitude or if the supposed UFO was far above it. But for example, the average altitude of an airplane is somewhere between 36 and 40,000 feet, which goes to prove that the object isn't really showing any signs of advanced technology. In this other video, the object seems to move out of range so fast that the tracking device isn't able to keep up with it. But with this video, the quality is actually so bad that at this point I'm just watching a white pixel on my screen. As for a more logical explanation, it would seem out of order for someone like the Department of Defense to release such a classified video to the public if they knew it could put them at risk. It's true it doesn't make any sense why they would release these videos in the first place, but you have to think they wouldn't do it if they knew there was more to it. Now, this doesn't necessarily prove anything, in fact it just creates more questions and unfortunately I don't think anyone can answer them right now. As for the library documents I mentioned before, they don't really show anything suspicious. Apart from them being almost completely blacked out at times, it would seem the documents are related to the Naval Air Command and show some sort of contract or statement regarding things they bought. So yeah, feel free to look through them, but I highly doubt anything will come up, as most parts are blurred out. I would however like to know what you make of this and what your explanation is. Please leave a comment below and I'll look through them for more possible scenarios. As for now, all we can really do is speculate. Thank you for watching and sticking to the end. I have to say I'm really glad to be back once again and I hope everyone is staying safe during these trying times. Oh and please stay inside, especially if you're subscribed to my channel because I have a lot of new content coming out and I wouldn't want any of you guys at risk. And that's because I love you all. Okay, bye.